Bruce Lee and Alir Latifi. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting that one step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Joe. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Malmo, Sweden, Italy, the Sledge Hammer, Latifi. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. We have the kickboxing match is underway. You just don't know, right? You don't know. Who's oh! Some real power shots here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. And they separate. Ooh, uppercut lands. Nice kick. And he landed the right hand there. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Nice loop and punch. Nice one, two there. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. 
trying to hammer that knee leg. And they separate. He's got him whip his hip into that kick. Very busy. Right on the button. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Big kick land. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Someone blowing the fight. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice body kick right under the elbow. with the oh, left punch. He finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity, you feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, side control now. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. Top guy has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure that the trap he has set is still tended to so that the guy doesn't escape. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight with the ground and pound. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, 
that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Alir Latif. The ground and pound has been there all night. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Just missed on the front kick there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice punch to land over the top. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands big knees from in close. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotation high punch is taking for a while. Crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? Oh, he's going for his arm now. Oh! He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Submission beautifully executed there on the ground. Well, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the Octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest for the winner by submission. So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did.